welcome to my channel today we're going to learn how to improvise on the violin this video is for beginners if you haven't watched the first one go and watch it right away it's really not difficult to improvise you don't have to have a very complex knowledge of the matter of course it helps but actually you can do it intuitively and today i'm going to show you how to do it we're going to take a backing track it's called the seventh floor tango it's a really beautiful tune and the great news is that it's copyright free music so you can download it you can take it and use it in your videos and then remember to post the link for me so that i can check it out so let's get started right away and see what we can do so first of all try to find the notes that match so let's try to play all the notes in A minor. So first of all, we have to find in which key the song is actually, but I'm going to tell you it's A minor. And again. So play the scale of A minor and then try to play all the notes while the music is playing and see which notes are matching and which are not. We're going to start with one note only. Yes, you heard me right. One note, we're going to start with the A. It's the first finger on a G string, fourth finger on a D string, open A string, and a third finger on an E string. So all these A's we can play. And we can always create a different rhythmical patterns so let's do this Did you notice how many things you can actually do with one note only? It's amazing. The possibilities are endless. And now we're going to try and add another note to it. So we're going to take C, which is the third finger on a G string, a low second finger on A string, and that's it. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, but actually only a and C and A and C one octave higher and another A on the E string. So let's try to do something with those and do whatever you want with them. Just remember to use only two notes, A and C. But apart from that, you're totally free. Let's try it together.
one. Shall we add another note to the mixture? We'll try first finger on a D string, which is the E. Fourth finger on an A string, which is also E. And the open E string you can also use if you want. So now we have three notes. A, C, and E. And now we're going to fly some more. Let's do this together as well. Are you ready? A, C, and E. Now, after trying these three notes, A, C, and E, the same notes, one octave higher, A, C, and E, and the highest A in the first position, we can actually expand. So now you're going to start flying. You're going to be totally free. Try all kinds of things. Perhaps you can try the notes in between. So when you play A and C, Try to play the next note after the first finger. See whether it sounds pleasant or not. And you can start doing that with all the notes. It's really an amazing feeling when you start improvising, when you start trying new things. It feels like, wow, I'm totally free, I'm flying. So let's try this and see what happens.
Now I'm going to show you what you can do by improvising just in the first position. There's so many possibilities and you never know where you're going to land. So that's why it's so exciting. Let's do this. notice that even if you're a beginner you can only play in the first position improvising is an exciting thing to do because you never know what you're going to come up with your creativity is stimulated you know your creativity is totally free and it's almost like witnessing a miracle <laughs> when I improvise I'm always like wow how did this happen I can't take credit for it it just happens you know it just comes through you but not from you if you want to keep improvising more just put on this track and keep trying it go back to the beginning of the video try the notes i showed you try the first note second note third note try it with one note only you can just do with a third finger on a g string for example or with the first finger on a d string just try one note at the beginning and you'll see how you'll start expanding much faster than you thought was possible. Remember to order my new book on Amazon.com where you can learn violin the easy way with a simple system of a color coded strings. Do you like improvising? Let me know in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe, like this video, share it everywhere and I'll see you again soon.